Hello wonderful students, our lesson for today is on metalwork hand tools. In this lesson, you will learn about different hand tools used for metalwork, describe the hand tools, draw sketches of the different hand tools, and care and maintenance of metalwork hand tools. Just like tools used in woodwork, there are also different classes of tools used in metalwork. These tools include marking out tools, measuring tools, driving tools, and cutting tools. Marking out tools are hand tools used for marking out the required shapes of a particular metal from the sheet metal before cutting in the metal workshop. Examples are surface plate, surface table, scriber, center punch, dot punch, trammel, marking gauge, and mortise gauge. Do you want to know more about these tools? All right, listen attentively to understand the importance of these tools. A surface plate is used for checking the alignment and flatness of an object. A scriber is used for marking out straight lines on metals in conjunction with other marking out tools. A trammel is used for marking out light diameter where compass cannot serve. A marking gauge is used for marking specific lines along and across the grains of the metal. It is readjustable. A center punch is used to locate the center of a hole to be drilled. And a dot punch, this is smaller in shape and is used to mark or dot on scribe lines. Measuring tools. Common measuring tools used in metal work include steel rule, folding rule, micrometer screw gauge, Calipers, ETC. Steel rule. This is made from carbon steel. is used for measuring lengths. A folding rule is used to measure both small spaces and longer distances. An advantage of having a folding rule is that it can be easily transported when folded up. Micrometer screw gauge is used for measuring the small thickness or diameter of metals to a high degree of accuracy. This tool basically helps to get accurate measurements. Calipers. Three types of calipers that are used for measurement include inside calipers used for measuring internal diameter of an object, outside calipers used for measuring external diameters of an object, and vernier calipers used for measuring internal and external dimension of an object. The next category of tools to be discussed is driving tools. Do you remember driving tools from the lesson on woodwork hand tools? Very good. They are basically the same thing. Hammers, mallets, punches, and screwdrivers are all examples of driving tools. Hammers have two distinct parts, the handle and the head. While the handle can be made of wood or metallic material, the head is always made of high carbon steel. Common examples of hammers are sledgehammer, ball pin hammer, straight pin hammer, cross pin hammer, and planishing hammer. A mallet, on the other hand, is like a hammer, but its head is made of material like synthetic rubber. Punches are used for marking holes on thin sheets of metal, marking holes for drilling, and removing rivets. Examples are center or dot punch, pin punch, ETC. Screwdrivers are used for driving screws into or out of metals. Examples are flat screwdrivers, star screwdrivers, allen key, offset screwdrivers, ETC. Cutting tools. These are tools used for cutting pieces of metals in the workshop. Examples are chisels, file scrapers, and saws. Chisels are tools used for cutting and carving metals. The common ones are flat chisels, cross-cut chisel, round nose chisel, and diamond point chisel. Files are tools used to smoothing metals. Examples are flat file, square file, half round file, and round files. 
A saw is a tool used to cut through a material, usually wood or metal. Common types of saws are hacksaw, piercing saw, hand saw, Japanese saw, coping saw, etc. Hacksaws are used for cutting metals. A piercing saw is ideal for cutting curves. It is also known as a jeweler's saw because it is commonly used in jewelry making. To wrap up this topic, let us take a look at how to care for or maintain some selected metalwork hand tools. Maintenance of metalwork hand tools. A file must not be used without a handle because it is dangerous. Make sure the handle is firmly secured. The file should be cleaned regularly with a wire brush or file cut to remove iron fillings embedded in the teeth of the file and enable the file to cut better. For saws, the blades should be fixed so that the teeth are pointing away from the handle. Ensure the jobs are rigidly clamped to the vise. Generally, all metalwork hand tools should be kept in a cool, dry place to protect them from rusting. And now, it is time for self-assessment. List classes of metalwork hand tools you learned today. Give three examples of tools under each class of tools mentioned above. Explain the importance of inside caliper, outside caliper, and veneer caliper. Draw a well-labeled diagram of a flat chisel.